tunatumia jinsi ambavyo hata na sisi tunabarikiwa siku hii ambayo Bwana ameifanya maandiko dhahiri yanatuambia kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu hushuka wakati tunapomwabudu na kumsifu yeye hushuka kwa waja wake na hivyo ndivyo tunahisi siku ya leo na tuna hiyo tamanio we have that longing just to go before the lord in prayer and seek his presence so once again welcome wherever you're watching whether in matatu in your home we are going to walk together with you and praise the lord with you and i know as we come to the end of this service you will not be the same way we started it so let us go before the lord in prayer even as we give ourselves our hearts and our souls to him so that he may he may be able to take lordship and reign in in this service that has become very dear to our hearts gracious and ever living god we come before thy presence this this day we want to thank you for the protection that you have given each and every one of us we recognize that you are the alpha and omega the beginning and the end you are the author and finisher of our faith and i have father even as we humble ourselves at thy throne of seat we pray that you will start this service with us even as we invite the holy spirit of god we pray that he will be together with us and everything that we will do here will be led and governed by him i want to commit the man of god into your able hands the reverend george nyega and now we pray heavenly father that even as the holy, holy spirit falls afresh on him once again that you will have clarity of thought and even as he breaks the word for us this day to be able to be receptive of it and not just be hearers but doers of that word i commit also the present worship team even as they bless us with the many praises and the worship songs may you be together with him be there with them we want to come against any voices any works and persuasions of the evil one and we render them powerless defeated in the mighty name of Jesus and we pray that all that we do here will be reigned and governed by the holy spirit of god we thank you and we honor you and it's in that mighty and holy name of our lord jesus christ we do pray and believe amen people of god can we shout an amen Amen. A round of applause even as I invite the praise and worship team to come. Praise and worship team kindly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Who has ever experienced a time when you have not had what you have been told to do? You've been given instructions, but you have not had. Ama mwingine amekuja akakwambia something different or you have understood it differently so that when you are told about it uh, when you have done it you are told that you, are, you did it in the wrong way because you may not have either understood the instructions or you did hear well what the person wanted you to do i know we have gone through that such a such a time and 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 today we are talking about determining the voice of god knowing the voice of god ukisikia tu sauti najua tu hiyo ni ya mungu na najua hiyo hiyo si ya mungu 
knowing the difference between all the voices that we hear and the voice of God. It is very important that we get the voice of God because his instructions will never lead you astray. His instructions will lead you to the place of purpose, your place of purpose, your place of destiny, the place that you're going to get your blessings. And so even as we think about that, as we prepare to hear this word, I want us to just get into the presence of God and invite the presence of God in this place. I want you to take a moment, a minute or two, to ask God that where we have gone wrong, that God may forgive us. That we desire to know his voice. That by the time we leave this place, we will know every other noise and separate it from the voice of God. And then even as we hear the voice of God, he will give us a heart and a spirit that is quick to obedience, swift to listening, swift to doing that which we have heard. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we want to sing this song that says nothing but nothing like the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen.
Oh, 
That is our heart desire, Jehovah Father. And someone just go before the Lord and start to magnify His holy names. For there is none like you. But there is one day in your house, Jehovah Father, and a thousand elsewhere, Jehovah Lord. We thank you, Lord, and we glorify your holy name. Our heart desire, Jehovah Father, is just to be in your presence on this day. Thank you, Father. My God and my master, be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Okay, I see for to go for Mungu. Talk with Shukuru Mungu. Yeah. 
kuna amani Chapo Sema Mara Musha, we pony Marco. Jesus, 
them that are in hopelessness, oh God. A new hope is their portion, even in your presence, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Them, Lord God Almighty, that have not eaten for so long, Baba, you are providing for them that hunger will be a thing of the past in their lives in the name of Jesus. Them, Lord God Almighty, that have looked for jobs, my God. They carry their certificates day after day, my God. Let that be the end, oh God, of looking for employment, our Father. It is in the tells us, oh God, that if we do not work, we should not eat. And so, Father, we want to work that we may eat, Jehovah God. My God and my Master, we are speaking and declaring the testimonies of your might and of your power will be experienced in our midst, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Why? Because, Baba, we have been in your presence. How we thank you, Lord. We bless you. We worship you. Receive all the glory, Lord. Receive all the honor. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen. God is good. And all the time. Wow, for one more minute, I want you to lift up your hands and just tell God what you expect tonight. Just tell God, be very specific now. I know we have prayed, but just tell God this one thing. If it is breakthrough, just say breakthrough. If it is healing, say healing. If it is restoration, say, Lord, restore me. Maybe if it is something that you want God to confirm, just pray that prayer and tell God, I pray for the clarity of mind now. Because the Bible says that at the entrance of his word, it brings light and it gives understanding to the simple. And so I sense understanding now. I sense somebody God is going to speak to today and God is going to speak in a still small voice telling you this is the way and walk ye in it. There's such a rema of his presence in this place tonight. And I pray, just as the psalmist say, that better is one day in his courts than a thousand elsewhere. Lord, we are here because this is the only time we have to worship you. We are here because we know that you're not limited with space or with time. Now is the time that the true worshiper shall arise and worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And so, Lord, we want to take this opportunity now, Lord, and to just pray, you know, without any limitation. Everything that we have said with our words of mouth, everything that we have said, through our speakings, I know God has heard that prayer. And because our worship tonight is very personal, I feel it in my heart to remind you that the words of your mouth and the meditations of your heart will be acceptable before God. Now that you have said it, be ready to believe it because you're about to see it. Lord, this is our humble prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen and amen. You can have your seats in the presence of God. Wow. Amen. So God is good and all the time. Wow. Amen. Such an opportunity. Again, we can come another midweek service and we can just come and just contemplate our hearts in worshiping God. Let me first take this opportunity to thank my father and my mentor. And a person I have come to love so much. And that is our vicar. Let's put our hands together as we appreciate our dad. He's in the house. And thank you so much even for giving me this opportunity to stand on your behalf. And just share the word of God briefly. And I know God will be a blessing to us. Amen. Them that are seeing me for the very first time, my name is George. But most importantly is that I am born again. Amen. I serve as an evangelist in this diocese of Nairobi. And I want to thank God because of that opportunity where I can serve as an evangelist. Amen. I know God will be a blessing to us. Allow me to just share briefly. And as I was coming in, I was just quickened in my spirit. And God told me, say what you want. I could just hear that in my spirit. I, I, I just felt for a minute, I'm an Isitu Nakwaga limited. You understand? Because today God has just reminded me, just spur these people up. Some, some things must be said. 
And this season, I have, I have just reflected on going back to the basics. Every time I go to sleep and I pray, just God just takes me back to Genesis, you know. And God reminds me of this particular time. I remember when I was getting born again. I was so passionate. It's not like I'm not passionate. I will bring my point home. But there was such... <laughs> there was such... You know, and just God was just reminding me this season. I mean, just I mean, just go back to the basics, go back to the roots, and be reminded of how you started. You understand? And there is a message there that will address this season. Praise be to God. Because for a minute I just was praying and was just telling God, let me not feel reluctant. Because I was just feeling to push and to push and to push, and God told me, relax. There's something from where you started from. There's where you are and there's where you're projected to. So not unless you understand first where you have come from, then you will be able to hear me clearly from where you are. Then you will understand where I want to take you. Praise be to God. And so I know this season we need to be hopeful. I know Hebrews chapter number 11 tells us that faith is evidence of things that we hope for, right? And certain of things that we cannot see. And so that scripture tells me clearly that I don't have to see it for me to believe it. I only need to believe because that is what is faith, right? So I only need to believe that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above Ephesians 3.20, all that I could ask or even imagine. Praise be to God. But tonight I strongly feel, I'm even preaching to myself tonight. God has told me to remind you. I will still give you my theme as I'm proceeding. But there's something about what we need to speak this season. There's something about our speakings this season. Because how we speak and how we address issues this season determine your walk with God. Look at this. Genesis chapter number one. In the beginning, uh -huh, God. Hey, why I like that. In the beginning, God. So there was a God in the beginning. We know that, right? So before the beginning, there was a God. So there was a God. Then there was the beginning. And then there was the becoming. Are we in church up to that point? Praise be to God. And so God said... Uh -huh. Let there be. God said. God said. God said. Let there be. And it became. Look at that. So our words this season, my point number one. Our words, we need to, our speakings should be evident. Because if then God said and it became. Then why are we speaking things that are not becoming? Are we in church today? If then God said that you can, look at these people of God. What, what, what was the first thing that God created? It was the light, right? God said, let there be light. And there was light. Ah, wonderful. Look at these people of God. The light of God in the Bible symbolizes the life that was in God. The first thing that God spoke, God was addressing himself. God spoke what he was. Okay. Listen to me very carefully. Because this time in season when I tell you to speak things that are evident. By the way, things that are spoken should be evident. If somebody needs healing right now, Pasi, we need to stand in that gap and say, receive your healing. And there was healing. I don't know if you're understanding that. We need to say that, you know, this nation needs to come in order. You understand? If we are yet to speak righteousness in this nation, then righteousness should be part of this nation. You understand? If then God says in Psalms 33 that blessed is the nation in whose God is the Lord. That name Lord, by the way, means one that is in authority. Get to understand these people of God. We are all Kenyans here. Praise God. And we understand the kind of season that we are in right now. Sindio. If then God is Lord, if then God is in authority, and he's not an author of confusion, then why should we be in government out of the government, in corona out of corona, people are dying, people are living. As in, we are somewhere that even, <laughs> I don't know. But in this time of season, our speaking should be life. Look at this. John chapter 6 verse number 63. The Bible says what? That the speakings of God. John 6, 63. If you're there, say amen. If you're there, say hold on. If you don't have your Bible, say ouch. If you don't know what you are saying, say shame on me. John chapter 6. Look at this. The spirit is the one who gives. 
The, flo- the flesh does not help at all. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and they are life. Can I go back to basics? <laughs> In the beginning, God said, let there be life. And there was life. Can I give you another practical uh, scripture? Chapter 26 of, I think, chapter 1 of Genesis, verse 26. When God was creating man, what did he do? After he took the dust, Sindio, what did he do? He breathed. The Bible says he breathed into the nostrils of man. And then man became a living being. Now, that name, breath, then means life. And actually in Greek, that name breath means life. Ruach. It means life. The life that was in God. So when I tell you people of God that your speaking should be realities this season, I know what I am saying. Praise be to God. And when the psalmist says that out of the abundance of the heart, this is why this man had to be a man after God's own heart. Ata mungu mwenye alimshanga. Ay, St. Philip's maze tukwe watu kama hawa. Because when David is saying, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth does what? Now, Paul, when he's speaking to the Romans in Romans chapter number 8, he abbreviates to <laughs> the heart of man as the mind of God. You see this mind, if God can open up our minds right now, even me, the one that is preaching here, mutatoroka. Mutao na mtu mwenye mechanga nikiwa koi maisha na mtu. You understand? But the heart... Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So once we speak, then even our character this season, Pasi, is going to tell us how much we are born again. He's going to tell us how much, you know, how full we are of God. I know you're getting this, Brio. Just by what we speak. By the way, this season is to kumbusha vile umeokoka. Watch at one tu na matendo yako takabla uonge. You enter a place like this. Eish. Even you, before you utter a word, the presence of God is there. By the way, it is the same David. You remember when Saul was being tormented by that evil spirit? You remember? Did he speak in tongues? <laughs> did he, was he there, you know, doing all spiritual gymnastics? What did he do? He just took his harp. Are you listening to these worshippers? He just took his harp and worshipped God in spirit and in truth. And that evil spirit had to leave. You understand? Why? Because he was a carrier of the presence of God. David knew the moment I speak. Praise be to God. God is mindful about the words that we utter in our praise, in our worship, and through prayer. May we redefine our speakings in these three dimensions. Let's not just sing for the sake of singing. Are we in church? Let us not just praise for the sake of praising. And let us not just pray for the sake of praying. These words, the Bible says, is it in uh, Proverbs 19, 21 or 21, 19 there? What does it say? That, what does it say? Is it, yeah? <laughs> Is it 1921 or 2119? Either of the two. What does it say? Many. 1921 says, many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is a law. Hey, this is also a very good. By the way, we talk here for Kwanzaa. This is just a break. A can break. Listen to this. It says, many, because it addresses the heart. Hey, we are in spirit. Many are the plans in a man's heart. Many are the plans in a man's heart. But it is the Lord's. Now, other translations say it is the Lord's purpose that will prevail. There are so many things you people have planned. But listen to me. Hey, listen to me. Many. The Bible says many are the plans. Sindio? Many, many, many are the plans in a man's heart. But it is the Lord's purpose. Purpose is who you are. Purpose is why God created you. Purpose is the original intention of God in your life. Purpose is the reason for your existence. I don't know if you're getting that. The reason why you had to be created is to live a life of a purpose. You get to understand that. And when the Bible says that many are the plans in a man's heart, there are a lot of things that we think, there are a lot of things that we project and all this kind of a thing. But, listen to me, in as much as we will speak and speak realities, it is the will of God that will prevail. Praise be to God. So in as much as we speak whatever things that we speak, listen to me, child of God. It is the will. It is the intention. It is the purpose of God that will prevail. Praise be to God. 
So listen to me very carefully. In as much as you seem like you're moving back and forth up or two, I still want to remind you this. It is in season. It is in purpose. Because until God tells you to move to the next step, is where now you can be bold enough to move to the next step. Praise be to God. It is like, it is like Hannah in the Bible. You understand? That was not just barrenness, but it was barrenness in purpose. <laughs> it was the intention of God for this lady not to give birth in that particular season. But check this out. After she labored and labored. How many years were this? Huh? How many years were this? If you know it, shout, help me preach. Yeah? But I know it was quite a long time. And when that time came, look at this. And the priest thought that she was drunk. Then, because Alibuliza, until when are you going to be drunk of this wine? Then Hannah says what? Ah! Until those speakings became a reality, that is when the will and the purpose of God prevailed. Time ya kitu ikifika imefika watu wa mungu. So in as much as we shall speak, if God then tells you, wait, wait. Watcha kujibiza na na mungu. But they don't give God conditions through your speakings this season. Allow his will. The Bible says that his will is the good and the perfect will of God. You understand? So if he tells you to wait, wait. If he tells you to jump, watch a maswali. By the way, ask how high. You understand? Tuachata kubisha na bisha no corona itaisha linia ma ilianza linia ma ah 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 ah. People of God, greater, First John chapter 4 verse 4, is the one that is in you. Masa siju koninu waga tunasao sini kina nani. Ah. Greater is the one that is in you. Than the one that is in this, who is in you? Is it in Acts or in Luke that says, in him we live? Acts, thank you. In him we move. In him. It is in him. There is now no condemnation for them that are in. Ah, talk to me, church. Then if you know whose you are. Ah, are we in church, St. Philip's? So then greatness is not a feeling or an emotion. Greatness then is who you are. Get to understand this. Stop feeling great. You are great. <laughs> Why? Because greater is him that is in you. Christ lives inside of you, people of God. Out of the abundance of the heart. The mouth. James is giving an illustration. In the book of James chapter number 2. I hope this one I get it right. James chapter number 3. Look at what the Bible says. James gives us an illustration. And he gives three. Mm -hmm. It says, not many shall become teachers, my brothers, knowing that we will receive a stricter judgment. We continue. For we all stumble in many ways. If anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a mature man who is also able to control his whole body. Verse 3. Now, when we... Uh -huh. Now, this is the first illustration that James is using. This illustration in James chapter 3, verse 3. The first illustration that James is using is this illustration of a beat. It's, it's called a... A beat. Unona beat nile inegangomapua mama kondom. Which is which? which? Unona farasi. Whatever, that is the beat I'm talking about. You know it, right? So when you put a beat in a horse's mouth, he's reminding us and he's telling us, you can be able to control that horse the way you want to. True? A horse is a strong animal. Don't forget that. Minus that beat. But it's a very small thing when it is put on the mouth, I preempt, then you can be able to control that horse the way you want to. The second example that he uses is the example of a spark of light. A spark of light. And he says, when you go into a forest, and then, just come out kidogo to, that spark of light, he says, that it can be able to consume the entire forest. True? It's possible, right? And then the third example 
He uses the example of what? A rudder. A rudder is a, how many of us have been in a ship? I know Pasi has been in one. Remember the time alikuwa Greece? Hallelujah. Wa injilisti tunayekangwa tu kwa periphery lakini bwana asifiwe saa. I remember there's a time they went to Greece and all. He can, he can tell you, a ship is a... You are saying, you're not going to go to the boat. You're not going to go to the boat. You understand? A ship, Pasi, you can attest. A ship has a mosque, a church, a football field, a club, a swimming pool, a hotel. I mean, a ship is a county in itself. You understand? But look at what controls this big, 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 big gadget. It's a small castering that is called a rudder. Very small one. Nikama tu ile steering ya gari. Sindio? And then now James concludes down here. Yes, ship. And then apa chini anaendelea. So the pilot directs it the way he wants it. So apa chini then anaendelea na anasema. And then the tongue. Ebu, you go to verse 5? Eh, verse 6. And, and the tongue is a fire. The tongue, a world of unrighteousness is placed among the parts of our bodies. It pollutes the whole body, sets the cause for life and fire. And it's it? By? In Aishiapo, to endele? In Aishiapo, verse 7, Nasema. For every creature, animal, bird, reptile, I know, uh -huh, has been tamed by man. We continue. But no man can tame the tongue. It is a what? Evil, full of deadly poison. We continue. Uh huh. Read. Uh huh. This is it. Now we read together. With it we bless our Lord, our Father, and with it we curse men who have. Now that is the power of the tongue. The tongue can bless, and the tongue can curse. Kazi kwako. Choose whatever you want to do. With what? Yani out of the same mouth comes blessings. It continues. You understand? My brothers, these things should not be this way. Verse 11. Does us, uh -huh. But you get my point, right? So the tongue has power over life. And I told you what life is. Life is who God is. Over life and over death. By the way, those are the two kingdoms that we live on the face of this earth. There is a kingdom of light and there is a kingdom of darkness. We have the prince of light and we have the prince of darkness. Do you know the reason why I'm calling him a prince? He deserves that title. Because he's the first ruler. There has never been any other like that. Understand? So in these two worlds, also God is reminding us today, choose wisely. Actually, it's, is it in Deuteronomy that says, you know, God has set life and Exactly. But it, it insists upon chini na inasema, choose? Absolutely. Life is the light. The light is who God was. You understand? And so in the beginning, the first thing God created, God created himself. For your information. <laughs> he created what life is. Man became a living soul because God breathed his life into the nostril. Then he became a living, living being. Get to understand that. Your words, God is concerned about those words. And I want you to speak. This time we are not silent. We have heard. Now it is time to speak. Speak. If you can speak in tongues, break in tongues. If you can speak, just pray the way you pray. I want you to speak something. Speak what you want God to hear. Because now you know. Now you know what life is all about. The speakings of God must become a reality in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of us, maybe you are bitter about something you have always found it so hard to pray about. Now God has told me to remind you these things today. Speak it the way you feel it in the name of Jesus Christ. Just speak out of the abundance of the heart. The mouth speaketh. Now I want you to speak what is inclined to your heart. Some of us, now this is not the season to be silent. Our God is a speaking God. We must give him a speaking praise. Now we are speaking realities. We are speaking what life is all about. Come on people of God, I want you to speak now. Speak through prayer. Speak, speak, speak now. Speak now. Open up your mouth now and start to talk to God. Say what you want God to do. Some of us, I know we have been struggling with something that is, it has been so hard for us to be praying for. But now God has confirmed his words. You need to speak it now. That is where your healing will begin. Stop feeling it. Now speak it. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak it now, speak it now. Say it in the spirit, say it in the spirit. Say it in the spirit right now. Lord, I receive my healing. Lord, I receive my breakthrough now. I am speaking, I speak peace upon this nation. I speak prosperity in the name of Jesus. I pray that my wife will prevail. I pray for my children. I pray for my son and my daughter. I pray that they shall always be the head and not the tail. Speak something. Just speak something, Lord. I pray that this season, Lord, I shall walk in the sequence of your revelation in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to speak it now. Speak something. Just speak something. Speak something in this atmosphere in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that his ears are not too dull to hear. His hand is never too short to save. God is hearing our prayer. And we need to speak something right now. Come on, walk in this three dimension. Speak in your prayer right now. Speak through your worship. Come on, come on, come on, come on right now. Come on, come on. St. Phillips, I want you to talk to God right now. I don't want you to be silent. Come on. I don't want you to be silent. Just open up your mouth right now. Such a good opportunity. We only have five more minutes. And I know God will be a blessing to us. Come on, just speak, speak something. Speak something. We are not giving you prayer items. Speak what is in your heart now. Speak it right now. Speak it right now. Some of us maybe need to go to the heart of worship and pray for forgiveness. Hey, just speak something that is in your heart. There's something that has been so heavy in your heart. This midweek service must address these things. And we are here today. We are here today. Now, 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 now. We are here today. Now is the time. Now is the time that the worshippers shall arise and worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Yes. Lord, our faith is not limited. Speak, speak, somebody, speak. Just speak, speak right now. Speak life. Speak life in the name of Jesus. Speak prosperity. Speak healing. Speak something. Speak something. Just tell God something. Come on. Come on. Let us talk to God right now. Let us talk to Him right now. Out of the abundance of the heart, that mouth must speak. Yes, yes, yes. The tongue has power. The tongue has power. It has power over life. It has power over death. Lord, I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life in the name of Jesus. I speak life, Lord. In every death situation, I speak life. Where I am confused, Lord, I speak life. Where I need your guidance, Lord, I speak life. Where I seem to be a bit confused, I speak life, Lord. I speak life in my situation now. I speak life in my ministry now. I speak life in this church, Lord. I speak life upon every family that is here, Lord. I speak life in the name of Jesus. Let the tongue, let the tongue, let the tongue speak now. The tongue has power over life. The tongue has power over life. We speak life in the name of Jesus. We speak the light of God. Father, let there be a revelation of your light. The Bible says that at the entrance of his word, it brings light. It brings life and gives understanding to the simple. Lord, we want to pray with this understanding that Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, anything that is dead, we pray that Father, you shall come, Lord, and illuminate your light in the name of Jesus. Where we cannot see, I pray for the clarity. I pray that the light of God will, it will illuminate in the name of Jesus. Come on, church, let us worship him now. One more minute. I want you to just speak, 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 speak right now. Uh, this is where we are starting. This is how we are starting. We are speaking what is in our hearts. Yes, this is how we are starting. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Have an opportunity to speak something to God. Tell God what is in your heart right now. Tell God how you're feeling right now. Stop feeling it. Just pick it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The tongue has power. It has power. It has power. Use that power right now. The Bible says that we have the power. God has given us the power to tremble upon scorpions, upon cobras in the name of Jesus. Psalms 91. We have the power, we have the power to trample upon every other principality. Now speak in the name of Jesus. No weapon that is formed against me. It shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you shall lead me in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Guide me with your rod and with your staff. Keep me safe and under your care, Lord. I speak life in my situation, Lord. I speak life in my family. I speak life in my business. I speak life, Lord, in everything I do. Ah, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I speak life. I speak life. Even in this season of death, I speak life in this nation. I speak life in this world. I speak life. I mean, this corona. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, just speak something. Speak something. Speak something. Speak something. Speak something. Speak something. Yes, yes, Lord, hear this prayer. Hear this prayer, Lord. Hear these prayers, Lord. Hear these prayers, Lord. Hear these prayers, Lord. 
Your ears are never too dull to hear. Hear, Lord. Hear, Lord. Hear, Lord, this prayer. Hear, Lord, this prayer. Hear this prayer. Hear this prayer, Lord. Hear this prayer, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. 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 to us in a very mighty way and we want to thank him so much for what he has done to us now I just want to invite the praise and worship team to come and worship and lead us even as we worship our God with our giving hallelujah can you give a round of applause to our God have you been blessed have you been blessed can somebody shout there that they've been blessed? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man of God, for the very powerful session of prayer and even the word and allowing the Spirit of God to use in such a mighty way. And I believe for those who are watching us out today in, the, in our social media platforms, they've also been blessed. Now we want to worship our God with our giving. And I want to invite the praise and worship team to take us through. Just to remind you, our pay bill number is 734618. Pay bill yetu ni sabatatu nesita Na walika the praise and worship team to come and take us in that session of worship God with our giving. For the account is either offertory, baptism, or whatever you're praising or worshiping God with and I know God will continue blessing us. Praise and worship team. Hallelujah. After such a powerful word, we are going to tell our hearts. Zili zinatetemeka. Zikai kimia. Amen. Zikai wapi? Kimia, because we have already spoken and God is going to accomplish it in our lives. Amen? I know we all know this song, so let's sing it joyfully. Yes, so mama, I'm going to 
Sophia, are you happy to be in the house of the Lord today? I'm also quite grateful. Uh, I'm glad uh, that God has kept us this far. I uh, really want to say that I really thank God. Uh, my day was uh, health-wise. I wasn't really feeling quite well. And uh, we thought I would leave earlier. And that's why I even called George and I said, but by God's grace, I've been able to make it up to now. 
and I thank God because I believe if you be taught, you confess, and then you receive it. I believe that the Lord has told me, and I am continuing in this journey of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Next Wednesday, thanks, George. You've just laid a good foundation. Next Wednesday, I'll be continuing with a very interesting series. I think for the next uh, week, three or four Wednesdays, if I'm not wrong. And it's dubbed before Genesis 3. Praise him, don't mind. Bado tuko tu kwenye niliwapea. Sasa, wana mnaanza kuangalia na sasa hizo ni nyimbo gani tutaimba. Before Genesis 3, you want to know what it entails, then just make sure you don't miss every Wednesday. But as I keep saying, if you can't miss, why should your friend miss? Is that okay? So talk to your friends, tell them, Baze, hey, this time we are talking about before Genesis 3. Akikuliza hizo ndiyo nini, atiwe kuja, hiyo revelation na ijaniangukia, imeangukia jama mungine kule church. And he will be breaking it into manageable pieces. Amen? And then from Sunday the 13th, we are also starting a new series on the Sunday services. And do you know what this is? Setting heavens into motion. I, 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 I feel bored when the heavens are quiet. I want us to disturb the heavens a little bit and make them start moving. If you want to know what that is all about again, you can't miss it on Sunday from the 13th. That is going to take us about five Sundays. And it's just be interesting to know how we need to make the heavens move. And heavens must not be quiet because if heavens are quiet, then nothing is happening on earth. Praise the Lord. It takes movement in the heavens for something to happen on, on earth. Hallelujah. You want to know how that happens? Come on Sunday. Amen. Come on. On Sunday, it's going to be great. And July, something big is happening. July. Amen. On the third week of July, there is something huge that is really happening. I thank God for all that because God has an intention with us. And by the time this year is ending, I tell you, we shall give great testimonies. Hallelujah. And the devil shall be seated in some corner. Because it's going to be tough on him. Amen. And so I just want us to pray. And please, as I've said, remember to invite your friends, your relatives, and every other person that you can reach to for Wednesdays and Sundays. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting Father, we thank you because indeed you are a powerful God. We thank you because your word is able to create that which is not and make it be. And we've spoken several things, Lord, through our tongues. Some of us have spoken healing. Some of, of us have spoken a deeper connection with you. Some of us have spoken breakthroughs in different areas. Some of us, Lord, have spoken uh, expressing the desire to operate in the various giftings of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we thank you because that which is not shall be by the spoken word. We pray, Jehovah Father that you shall build testimonies in our lives and indeed make a difference. Thank you, Jehovah Father, because of these servants of yours. I pray, Lord, that their presence into this sanctuary today shall not be in vain, but you do something new in their lives in the name of Jesus. We also bless your name for that which you've given us of a tree, which is just but a portion of your blessings upon us. We ask, Lord, that you continue being a blessing to the work of our hands, that we also continue to give for your glory. As we prepare to go home, may you surround each and every one of us by the hedge of the fire of the Holy Spirit. That daddy, we shall remain and live under your protection. I declare that the favor of the Lord shall follow you. That in your going out and in your coming in, you shall be called blessed. I declare that the Lord shall hearken to the cry of your heart. That the Lord shall answer you. In distress, I declare that the Lord shall look upon you with favor, that his mercies that are new every morning shall be experienced by you, that when we are talking of restoration, it shall not just be a, a, a word written in a banner, but it shall be a description of your experience on this earth, that you shall testify of God's doing in your life and that you shall celebrate 
the victory that comes from the Lord. And now I pray that the peace of God, which surpasses man's understanding, keep your souls and minds in the knowledge and love of God the Father and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain among you always. Amen. Amen. Beloved of the Lord, as you go, go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. Amen. Thank you for turning up. Hope to see you next Wednesday when you start afresh on the Before Genesis 3. Amen. <laughs>